to you by the D.C. Lottery and 7-Eleven. Oh, thank heaven for 7-Eleven. We're back. Back with Don Geronimo and George Stark. You know, camaraderie is a term often used by head coaches. They say it's the glue of the team. Our guys have camaraderie, and it's true. I guess maybe the uh, comrades. Wait, let me talk about comrades. Well, you, you invented it in with the Hogs. I know. In Washington is a very small yet auspicious group known as the Hogs. We have with us tonight one of the most famous, an all-pro guard and the only quarterback to say, "Sack me, I dare you, you fool." <laughs> Russ Grimm. <laughs> All right, Russ. <laughs> It's a little too hard. You just, you know, when the guy. It's been that kind of night. You know what I mean? I was trying to put a tight sparrow on. No, this is it show tough. business. Is my life. <laughs> okay. Are you changing your name to Babe now? Are you going to be, uh, be yeah. Babe Grimm? We're talking about a, a situation that you know, one out of ten thousand might happen. Hey, Russ, wait, I want it to happen. I want the, the world to know that offensive linemen have to know it all. They have to know the, the routes that the, the, the receivers take. We have interchangeable offensive line in Washington. That's true. I, you know. The offensive line knows more about what everybody has to do on a football field than I think any other position. Uh, the quarterback knows all the pass routes, and but as far as it runs, all he does is hand the football. Are you going to be the third string quarterback all year, as far as you know? No, I think uh, I think Mark Rippian's our, our third team quarterback. Uh, but the thing is, right now he's on injury reserve for a minimum of four weeks, so uh, I'm just kind of covering up for another two weeks and. If they activate him, they do. But uh, if they don't, are you gonna wear I'll that, be there. Are you going to wear that it. black stuff under your eyes <laughs> like Fassman right. used to do? Never. I, you know, this, the single bar, it, it doesn't fit me. I, I, got, I go with the gloves. So I go with the gloves. I go with the <laughs> knee braces, <laughs> the high-top shoes, and uh, the Johnny Unitas, in other words. Johnny, Johnny Unitas. Unitas. Johnny Unitas. Johnny Unitas. When you That's guys it. played, why, did you wear the, why do you guys wear that black stuff Keeps under your eyes? Keeps the glare. There is a perspiration develops, right? Sun hits it, reflects in your eyes, and you're squinting like this. and. Just doesn't work. I thought a guy like Thaisman just did it to be cool. Because I mean he still wears it today. If you go into his restaurant, he's still got that black stuff on his eyes. That's supposed to be part of the guys. In case, Pete doesn't want to be out there in the back and you know miss the opportunity to make an interception. I've got I've got a question though. All right, we're talking about defense, defensive uh, big plays, offensive big plays. You're gonna need offensive big plays to the point where you keep Fouts off the field. Well, I, I really don't think we're going to need a big play. San Diego's a big play offense. I think the Redskins this week, we're going to need a ground possession game. We're going to need the short passes. That's what Every I was saying. You just need short passes and a ground possession <laughs> game. No, no big plays. I was... <laughs> That's it. The thing is, you know, if, if we try to match him big play to big play, we're never going to do it. it. It's something that we have to eat the clock up, move the ball slowly down the field, score our seven points whenever we can. If not, kick the field goal. Right. But the main thing is to keep their offense off the field. Foul sits, they don't score. And Russ, you know, that's uh, the biggest thing. Is uh, Coach Joe Gibbs, you know, worked under Coriel. Uh, is there any similarity between their offense and our offense? Well, I, actually, there's a big sim similarity, George, and it's something that you know we've changed around this week. Uh, we have an audible, audible system that is similar to theirs. Uh, now, instead of the 40s, uh, 50 might be mean the 40 gut. You know, and, and basically you, well, things it's like well, that. Well, time out for the for the average idiot like myself. Explain what is the 40. No, hold on, you're above average idiot. All right, <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, <laughs> Coach Gibbs was under Coach Coriel. Mm -hmm. It's the same type offense. It's numbered the same way. Even plays to the right, odd plays to the left. The audible system is the same. So if we tend to go to the line of scrimmage and hit a white 40, white 40 all the time, after one play they're going to realize that, you know, the white is a live keller. We're changing the play at the line of scrimmage and we're going to be running the 40 gut to the even side. So it's something that, you know, we've had to, you know, reword a lot of things this week. Here's, here's, yeah, something. No problem. here's something. Redskins have been hurt. They've got some key players out. San Diego's hurt. Cornerback out. Donald Brown, Maryland rookie, he starts. You guys will be attacking him, right? Biggest mismatches this year is definitely Art and Gary against their two corners. They're real strong at linebackers. Billy Ray Smith has a bad ankle. Uh, they got a rookie in there, uh, Leslie O'Neill, playing their right defensive end over Jacoby and myself. Excellent pass rusher. They're more aggressive on defense than they have been in the past. And it's something that they will come after you. 
They'll make, they'll take the chance on the man-to-man -man coverage, and we're going to have to come up with a big plays. We're going to be talking about those big plays, which will be involving blitzes, blitzes from the audience in the form of questions right after this.